Hey guys, Misha here with another 3DS Hacks tutorial, this time for Freaky Hacks. A Freaky Hacks is a homebrew entry point. It works on both old and new 3DSs and 2DSs, so all DS systems uh, up to the current firmware version 11.6. Uh, now, as new firmware versions come out, I will edit the title and the description of this video so that you can know if Freaky Hacks is compatible with your version. But at the time of recording, it is compatible with the latest version, 11.6. But Freaky Hacks has been around for a while, but I haven't made a guide on it until now because it costs money. I typically only make guides for free entry points that are accessible to everyone, but this recent firmware version has been tough for Hacks devs to crack, and I know you all want to weigh into homebrew. So here we are. Uh, I know it cut what words. Uh, I know it sucks that it costs money. I think I was combining words there. But regardless, Freaky Hacks is the easiest and most reliable way into homebrew available right now. But if hacking is a little foreign to you, I would recommend watching my Basics of 3DS and Animal Crossing New Leaf Hacks video, which I will link on the screen and in the description box. It'll get you up to speed on all the hacks components and lingo. Alright, let's get into actually installing Freaky Hacks. Here's what you'll need. A 3DS or 2DS on 11.6 or below. You can check your version on the top screen of the system settings on your DS. You also need a copy of Freaky Forms Deluxe. I got mine from GameStop used for about $20, uh, but you can look on Amazon or other retailers. Unfortunately, Freaky Forms Deluxe is no longer available on the eShop, so you do have to buy a physical version, which again, kind of sucks, but just do some Googling, find, find a good one on, on sale, and a used copy works just fine. You also need a computer, both PCs and Macs work. You also need an SD card reader or another means of putting files onto your SD card. If you have a new 3DS with a micro SD card inside it, you can wirelessly connect that to your computer. A Nintendo has a guide on how to do that, which I will link below. And lastly, if you are on PC, you're going to need a file extraction software. Uh, 7-Zip is a good free one. It's the one I use. If you're on a Mac, you can unzip files without having to have extra software. So just if you're on PC, you need some sort of file extraction software. Now to install Freaky Hacks. Go to link 1 in the description below and download the latest version of Freaky Hacks. Put the file on the root of your SD card. And we're just using uh, a folder here that I've made to look like my SD card because I've already pre-installed this to make sure it works, but just go along with me here. Next, go to link 2 down below and download the other app payload for your firmware version. Be sure to enter your correct region letter at the end of the number. Like I said, you can find your version number in the top screen of your system settings. Next, put the other app payload file on the root of your SD card and rename it otherapp.bin. Next, still in link 2, download the homebrew starter kit. Then unzip the file and put the file onto the root of your SD card. And now Freaky Hacks is installed. Eject your SD card and put it back in your 3DS. Now to actually launch Homebrew with Freaky Hacks. First, of course, open Freaky Forms Deluxe. The first time you open the game, you will have to go through the tutorial and create six for me's uh, before unlocking the QR code camera feature, which you need to access Homebrew. So just speed through the tutorial and making these for me's as quickly as possible. Once you create the fifth form E, I know that sounds weird to say, but it's what the game calls them. But once you create the fifth one, go to your 3DS settings and set the time forward at least one hour. I'm setting it forward one day in the video because that's just what I did. Uh, but set it forward at least one hour to be able to create the sixth one. Then 
Then back in the game, create your sixth form E and you will unlock the QR code feature. Now in the game menu, press play, click on the camera and click load a QR code and then pick the strange QR code image that the Freaky Hacks download put onto your SD card. Once you pick the image, Homebrew will launch and you can use whatever apps you have installed. If you're getting errors, try deleting all your form E's and moving the date forward one day in your 3DS settings. Uh, if you're not finding the QR code picture in your library, connect your SD card back to your computer and go into the folder DCIM, which is the folder that stores all of your 3DS screenshots. Go in there and make sure the QR code picture is in there. If not, go back through the folder that you downloaded from Freaky Hacks and just find the image. It doesn't matter what it's titled, just find the image and put it in your DCIM folder and it should show up there. For more troubleshooting, check out the official Freaky Hacks site, which will be linked below. If you're installing Freaky Hacks in order to hack Animal Crossing New Leaf, you still have a couple more steps to go. Watch the video that I mentioned earlier called The Basics of 3DS and Animal Crossing New Leaf Hacks. It will walk you through installing JK Safe Manager, which is a homebrew app, and using your Animal Crossing New Leaf save file with the save editor, regardless of what homebrew entry point you're using. I also have several videos walking you through the different parts of the New Leaf Save Editor. I will link that playlist below if you want to check those out. Like I've said, entry points can change as Nintendo patches them in new firmware versions, so don't update your 3D 3DS until you know your entry point works with the new version. Otherwise, you could lose access to homebrew indefinitely. You can keep up with Hacks info by following the Hacks resources links I have posted below. Please check out those resources, uh, the FAQ in the description box, and even try googling your question before asking something in the comments below, because they can get a little overwhelming, but I will still try to answer all the questions that I can. I hope this helped you all. I'll keep you updated if a better slash free homebrew entry point becomes available. Until then, you all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye!